Sneaky. This is me almost drowning in an Eric video. This all started a couple weeks ago when I got a call from my buddy Tyler. Yo, Manuel, Eric wants you to be a part of one of his videos. That's crazy. That's crazy. Funny story, me and Manuel are roommates. You should make a video out of this, I was gonna tell you. <laughs> if your favorite YouTuber asks you to be in the video, you say, hell yeah. But there's a big problem. Eric found out that I almost drowned when I went on vacation to Hawaii. This was a couple months ago, and it was the scariest moment of my life. I told myself that I would never touch water ever again. And unfortunately, Eric's video is about getting people to overcome their biggest fears. I almost thought about not doing this video. I'm so scared to accept this. This is my dream. It's coming at a really big cost. I think I'm gonna say yes. This is my dream. I, ha I have to say yes. Luckily, I have some help. This is Austin. Austin's gonna help me overcome my fear of drowning. He is a Navy veteran, and with his help, I can overcome the three stages of my fear. And each stage is gonna get harder and harder. Level one, I got on this boat, and they literally drove into the middle of the ocean. I don't know where we were. We were somewhere probably the Pacific Ocean, or we were somewhere possibly in the Atlantic Ocean. One of the oceans. I was, I was in one of the oceans. In order for me to pass level one, I needed to tread water for 60 seconds. <laughs> I want to repeat to you guys, I'm terrified of the water, so for me, this was super scary. Three, two, one. Oh, give me a second. You gotta do it. If you, you don't, don't jump, I'm gonna drag you in. Oh, God. Oh. Holy fuck. This shit's cold. Oh, my God. How do you feel? I feel better in my life. Okay, I'm gonna rip the ring and wet the Oh, I was second. lying. I was lying. I feel horrible. Tommy. I'm on the verge of death. The water. Somehow I survived level one and I was happy because I thought we were done. No, there was more. A lot more. That was so scary, man. The level two, I'm waiting in the car. This location, they have a whole bunch of experts, safety people. Yes, it's good because I'll be safe, but it's also concerning. When do you need safety people? The second stage involved me swimming underwater, an entire pool's length and back. There was a glass cage around me that if I needed to catch my breath, I could go up into these little holes and do so. Now the whole goal of the challenge was for me not to panic, because if I did... You have less time to find each hole. You need to stay calm. How are you feeling about this? Dude, this one's way harder than the last one. I, I was still terrified. I had to learn how to swim underwater because I didn't know how to do that before. I know, I know. It's pathetic. Oh no, you don't know how to swim. People aren't supposed to be in the water. People are supposed to walk on a surface. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> we got three holes left. Come on, let's finish. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting a little bit harder. All right, finish, finish, finish. All right, finish. Finish, finish. Go, oh, baby! That no. was crazy. Oh, hell yeah. I did that shit. I did it. My confidence was at an all time high, but not for long. Stage three of the challenge was extremely difficult, and it would require me to take a flight all the way to Louisiana because this is the only place in the world that you can find something like this. But for now, I was soaking in that my dream was finally becoming true. If you guys don't know, I'm friends and roommates with uh, Tyler. Uh, I met you when? Freshman year of high school. You were like 14 years old. I hated you at first. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> we moved all the way from Orlando to California to chase the dream of becoming YouTubers. It hasn't been easy. Every month we don't know if we're gonna pay rent. <laughs> but I'm not paying rent this month. <laughs> uh, it's like two in the morning right now and he's editing this video for you guys. We're both deliriously tired. If you haven't subscribed yet, you better f subscribe. It's time for level three. Level three is fucking crazy. What do you think you're doing today, bro? I have no idea. I feel like going through all these levels and challenges has given me a newfound confidence. I don't care what's on the other side of this wall. I'm gonna face it, and I'm gonna beat it. Without him, I don't think it would've been possible. Should we kiss? Maybe after. Yeah. Pie comes over the radio. It's clear. in flight emergency. Ditching, ditching, ditching. Cool? I, I think so. I mean, it's dope. Are we uh, like intentionally landing the helicopter? Like, is the helicopter going down because we we wanted to go down? I'm not quite sure what's going well, on. Well, this is for in a case of emergency in case situation. Of emergency. That's right. What you so it's not happening today, though. Not with an actual helicopter. This is to simulate an actual real world scenario in the water. Someone else is doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> we're doing that. 
Turns out that this was not just a helicopter crashing simulator, it was a course. Meaning if you wanted to work in the middle of an oil rig, you needed to go through this course. So I took a three hour class learning a whole bunch of survival techniques. I can't complain, I feel like I'm 5% more prepared than I was in the past. I still would not want to survive in the middle of the ocean. Here we go. Uh, oh man. That is terrifying, man. 14 feet? 14 feet. You ready? This entire program is safety instructed. We have we have divers in the water. I feel safe. <laughs> this death machine was unlike anything I've seen. I was gonna be strapped in with a seatbelt. The machine was gonna go all the way to the bottom of the pool. Once it hit the bottom of the pool, it would do a complete spin. After that, I would have to untie my seatbelt, break the window, and finally be free. If I could do this, I could finally overcome my fear. You sure this kid can take this off? I give out free hugs. Alright, in flight. Oh wait, I'm not ready. He in flight. <laughs> That was really scary. Oh my god. Throughout this entire experience, I learned that fear is all in your mind and that courage is a decision that you take. But sometimes you need a little bit of help to make that decision. Special thank you to Eric for having me in this video and a huge thank you to you guys for watching. Oh, by the way, Eric, I still don't know how to swim.